What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Rod Share Hub. I'm Jacob Letman. You guys ever have random songs just get stuck in your head out of nowhere? You ready for this throwback? Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? I was like obsessed with that song back in the day as a small child and I feel like a lot of you probably even haven't heard of that song. If not, now's your opportunity to go look that up. The Baja Man. Okay, enough about that. I won't be singing that at karaoke later, but what I will be doing is sharing with you some exquisite knowledge via my earnings breakdown from a week of driving. And actually, I had the question posed to me they say, somebody was talking to me and they asked me, Jacob, here's the deal, right? We talk about rideshare drivers and earnings being all over the place. What does it look like without tips? You know, how much of a factor does tips really play into what rideshare drivers earn? Well, I'm gonna help answer that question a little bit more here in just a moment. Before we get started with this video, I'd like to say thank you to our 25,000 subscribers. Yeah, what's up? Okay, uh, feel free to subscribe to our channel if you don't already. Uh, my song may have just deterred you from doing that. I understand, it's okay. I deter myself from subscribing to my songs all the time. Um, hey, before we get started with this video, I want to give you guys an opportunity to make a little extra cash while you're out there driving. So go into the video description below. There's a link there for Cargo. Cargo Snack Box. Click on the link, use our referral code RideshareHub, the number one, get signed up, and uh, they're going to send you a box packed full of goodies that you can sell to your passengers. Uh, the top 10% of drivers earn an extra $300 of income per month, and on average, a lot of drivers earn around $100 extra a month. So, might as well get that. All the payments go through the app so there's no cash or anything like that. Uh, yeah, check it out. All right, like I said, I wanted to speak with you guys, show you guys an earnings breakdown um, about tips. So I found an earnings breakdown where I really didn't make very much in tips at all. And uh, we can see how that played a factor into my earnings. So let's get to it. All right, pull this guy up here. Let's see, shuffle some things. Uh-huh, here we are. Cool. All right, so uh, I drove Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday this week, as you can see on the screen here. Um, just gave one ride on Wednesday for $11.23. That seems very interesting. I just, I don't know how that happened. Just 7.39 p.m., I'm like, all right, I'm going out for a ride. Now I'm hungry. I'm coming back to get a snack attack. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, but Thursday, I kicked it in the butt with 19 rides. Let's see what happened. Scroll down here, 7.21 a.m. I made a mistake, do you catch that mistake? That was a $4 ride, which means that it was not a scheduled pickup. That's a weak start to the day, but picked it back up there with a $12 ride after that. Staying busy, $8.64, $7.45, and then, let's see, 18, so I was waiting for a little while before the next ride then, because I finished up right around nine, and I didn't get the next one until 9.45, or $5.30, and then I got another ride, $4.33. Finally, a good, sizable ride. Some meat, a little hardiness to it. You feel those calories? $17.59, 21 mile ride. Thank you, sir, for that. Keeping it going, $2, $2 tip. Um, yeah, actually, on that note, you see this whole day? Look at this. Whole day of driving, only two tips for $4 total. Ugh, ugh, it pains me to even see that. So I stayed pretty busy here until 12.45 in the afternoon. Stayed mostly consistent. A lot of shorter rides, but okay. And then I took a break, went and hit some golf balls, got a little lunch, probably got a massage. But that would be nice. Um, $2.62, so I started up at 6.30 again to do some driving. Thursday night, a good time to do so usually. But here it looked pretty bland. $3, $5, $2, $4, $2. Eh, 
So that was a lot of work for not a great return, honestly. $108 on that many rides. It's not good. It's, it's not real good. Ugh. Okay. So uh, that was Thursday. Friday. Seven rides, $53. Also not, not great, to be honest with you. Uh, started in the evening this day, $5, passenger cancellation, thanks buddy, uh, $2, $2, $3, finally a long ride again, okay, 26 miles, 27 miles, basically a half hour ride for $21, so yeah, when you see Lyft or Uber be like, hey, you can make up to $60 an hour, no, I don't think they claim that, you can make up to $30 an hour, it's because you can get rides like that. And you can, but it's the exception, not the rule. As you see, I have a lot of short rides for a lot of garbage, garbage, the scraps, the bottom of the cereal box, if you will. Although sometimes that's delicious, like frosted mini wheats, the bottom of that, you pour it in there, some coconut milk, oh dang, I'm making myself hungry. All right, that's beside the point, I digress. All right, so again, all these rides, only one, one dollar in tips and that's on a friday that's pretty bad i don't know maybe i didn't wear deodorant that day that's not very good um anyway let's go back and see where this week finishes up shall we we shall and then we finished up on sunday did some brunch driving the brunch squads all the brunch girls are out there wearing their brunch shirts going to get mimosas Okay, uh, I, I actually started way later than brunch. Unless it's me getting brunch, and then it's right on time. 4.30 in the afternoon, and uh, sorry, make sure this is still going. Okay, cool, 4.30 in the afternoon, uh, $3, $6, good one here, $16.55, 19 miles. Um, then finally a tip, a very nice tip there for $2. Um, all right, uh, $8 ride, that's, that's better, $3, $3, and another decent ride here, uh, 14 miles for $18, took a half hour, those are good, uh, another dollar tip, and then you can see I finished up just right around 8 o'clock there, so, uh, the breakdown, ride earnings, $62, tips, bonuses, oh, I had a $7 bonus in there, I bet that was on, oh, I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, there's a $7 bonus in there somewhere for something. All right, so $72, not bad. Now, again, the point of this video was where do tips play a factor in all this? So let's take a look at what we got going on here. So $245 of net earnings, 37 rides, 12 hours of book time, 16 hours of online time, I personally usually count the online time, especially for me, because most of the time, especially before, I was out in areas or driving around looking for rides, so that's definitely time working, right? Uh, so, ride earnings, tips, bonuses, okay, cool. Uh, let's take a look at this. So, what do we got here? So, tips, only $8, so that is a week of, I would say that's like, over 16 hours of driving, if you only get $8 in tips, that's definitely the exception as well. That's really bad. I would say that more often than not, people are tipping a little better than that. So um, again, 245, the bonuses, express pay fee, I did that three times, dang. All right, so let's take a look at this. 245, 16 hours. Let's go to the calculator, shall we? Um, for 16 hours of driving, let's see. This is a rough guesstimate, but it's probably pretty close to accurate. So 245, uh, we're gonna say I spent $40 in gas. Trust me, that's pretty close to accurate. 205, we'll divide that by, we're gonna say the 16 hours of total time. And uh, what are we looking at? So not very good, so $12.81, 16 hours. Um, so here's my issue with this. This is so unfortunate because 
Uber and Lyft are like, yeah, look, you guys are making all this money. You're making $20 an hour. So actually, let's just take a look here real quick. Bear with me before I get into that spiel. So $12.81. We'll round it up to $13 an hour, okay? Uh, let's just say $2.45 now. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, no, I forgot what I was going to do. Um... Let's just say, here, here's what I was gonna do. 205, bear with me, I got it now, okay. So I had $8 in tips, let's just say I made an extra $25 in tips, which is not, uh, not that drastic, seriously, I promise, that's not much of a stretch, um, especially over 16 hours of driving. Bumps it up a dollar and a half an hour, anyway. Point being is, when Uber and Lyft are talking about earnings the driver gets, they are including the tips that when they talk about it. But what they're doing is they're outsourcing our earnings to the passengers. So don't include it when you're doing these breakdowns. Don't include your tips. Um, actually, on that note, let's just do this. Let's go. Uh, 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 uh. So what do we do? 205 minus eight dollars, 197 divided by 16 hours. So twelve dollars and 31 cents. Not great. Anyway, you guys, um, just know that tips is a huge part of the rideshare industry and us making money. And this was an example of a bad week of tipping. So you could see, uh, yeah. So anyway, if you took something away from this video, give it a thumbs up. That's always appreciated. I'm Jacob Lettman. This is the Rideshare Hub. You guys are awesome. Until the next time, drive safe, everyone.